Hello YouTube. In today's video we're going to be looking at Mac OS 9 running on a Mac Mini G4 which is actually officially not possible but due to some breakthroughs in the Mac OS 9 lives community there's finally been uh, a bunch of people that managed to get it running. There are some caveats for instance you can't use the internal speaker but uh, it should at least boot up and be somewhat usable and uh, you know with internet access and the graphics should work as well although at a lower clock speed and uh, some things like that but that doesn't matter too much because it's pretty neat there we go, hold down the C key wait for it to actually take the freaking disk and uh, yeah let's actually see if we can get it running on this Mac Mini G4 this is one of the most powerful Macs that you can actually run this on now. The official most powerful Mac that will natively boot into Mac OS 9 is the Power Mac G4 MDD Firewire 400 model, which was available in single 1.25 and dual 1.25 configurations. Or maybe it was single only. I think it was dual capable in the most high-end model. And the most powerful graphics card you could really use was the Radeon uh, 9250, I believe, or the 9200 actually. <clears throat> I think the 9250 and later actually required you to run OS 10 because of the drivers. So yeah, we're pretty close at that. Right, let's see if we can install this. Drive is not mounted, of course, because it's running. Uh, actually, it's running Linux. That's the last operating system that I ran on this a long time ago already. Oh, it actually does say Apple HFS. Interesting. Oh, let's just initialize. It'll make it HFS, that's what it said. So now the disk is initialized. Now I'll actually give it a more fitting name. Macintosh HD. Oh, let's get all the way back. Oh, there we go. It'll refresh. Now we've got Macintosh HD. Now we should no longer need macOS Drive setup. Now we need to launch step two, which is Apple Software Restore. Which is more than likely somewhere, I'm assuming it's on the CD, which I need to do a hell of a lot of movements for. It's actually giving me bowel movements. Not really. I'm just talking shit, literally. Ah, uh, there we go. Now I've got the actual installer here. Let me zoom in to get the money shot right there. So, we've got Macintosh HD IMG, which is what's going to be restored. Um, we're just going to actually make it do another erase here, just to make sure. And we'll actually restore the image. And now I'm going to hope that I burned this thing correctly. Because I've done this before, doing restores in Mac OS 9 with uh, CDs that weren't burnt on an actual Mac. And that's given me some troubles. I took a fresh disc from work. I just burnt it uh, at my desk there. In the meantime, while I was doing some other monitoring stuff and working on some uh, server shit. So, yeah. Just doing some general uh, cleanup and whatnot. So, uh, I used Image Burn for this, so I'm gonna hope that's good enough. I've had a lot of luck with image burn, with burning Mac images before, so we'll just see how this goes. See if this optical drive actually holds up. And there we have it. The volume Magnetosh HD was successfully restored. Now we can click quit. I was like, we should be able to boot or select a boot drive now, but uh, that's apparently not actually a part of the operating system right now, so. So let's just boot into Mac OS 9 and see if it works. I'm holding down the mouse button so it will eject this CD as soon as it uh, can do that. Sounds like it's going to eject now. 
I've got a green or a gray screen now. And it went black, and now it's gray again. And we have Happy Mac. Excellent. Mac OS 9.2. Welcome to Mac OS. And there it goes. From what I've read, this is basically booting as a Power Mac G4 Cube. That's what it's identifying itself as, which was part of the uh, process of hacking this thing to boot at all. So now we'll see how it works. It booted up really quickly for Mac OS 9. And now it's just flickering back and forth. Uh, do we have a second mouse working? Yes, we do now. All right. And there we have the initial setup for Mac OS 9. Excellent. Let's go through the DPI settings for this mouse. Okay, we've got three. Um, let's get started. Sound appears to be working. I am located in the Netherlands. There we go. No, you can all go fuck off. First name John, second name Hancock. Demonetized instantly. One lots incorporated. I don't freaking care. I'll use it at home. I am in IT. City is Mr. Meeseeks. Six six six. Whatever. Area code. There we go. Do you want to go to get on the internet? I'll use my existing service. I'm connecting through a local area network. I have DHCP. Thank you very much. Oops, you need to fill this in. Oh my god. Okay, got that filled in. Just gotta fill in some bogus details here. Configuring your system. This will only lag a moment. You're going online. Wow, this is really super fast. It's remarkable. About this computer, Mac OS 9, built in memory, 1 gigabyte. Excellent. Uh, let's see here. Go to control panel, and we should be able to go to the thingy majig. Yeah, there it is, system profiler. There we go. Alright, we have 8 megabytes of disk cache. We have PC 133 CL3 memory, apparently. But yeah, here it is Power Mac G4 Cube. That's what it's identifying itself as. Processor info PowerPC G4 at 1250 megahertz. Alright, we have a DVD ROM drive and CDRW drive. That's correct. However, the clock is completely incorrect. It is not 5.15 p.m., it is 6.15, or actually 6.17 p.m. It is close enough though, so I'm not going to bother too much. What I do want, however, is the little sound effects. I always really enjoy those. And I think those are in appearance, actually, because logic. Control panel, appearance. Uh, yeah, there we go. Sound. Platinum sounds. There we go, that's more like it. Okay, now I want to see if I can connect to my network, because network support was supposedly there. Local network, it's not going to find anything there. Connect to server. AFP 192.168.1.17 That's my NAS. I'm not John Hancock. <laughs> oh dear. Password, connect. Uh, let's go to the game share. Games for Mac. 
classic. The problem with these games is that I have to unpack all of them because they're like image files and sits and stuff like that. So I've installed the first version of Unreal Tournament. I've updated it so we can take a look at that. We also installed Microsoft Office 98 for Mac, so we can take a look at that as well. First of all, let's go to Colossilla and uh, take this thing online. And uh, it looks like I need to replace the battery, so I'll be right back. Alright, there we go. So now the page is loaded, we can actually browse the web in Mac OS 9 using Glacilla Browser. There we go, let's see if that works. I don't care if it's encrypted, that's just the way it is. That's called the internet. And there we go. That's definitely usable. It is much more much more smooth, or much smoother, I should say, than uh, I'm actually used to on old G4s. So it definitely shows its power here. So let's go to a slightly more heavy website. It is trying to load the mobile version of CNN, and it can't redirect to that because that website doesn't exist anymore. Okay. That's just fine. Let's be very cruel today. Go to youtube.com. Can't even do this under Mac OS 10, so let alone on Mac OS 9. So let's do a little search here. It obviously won't play the actual video, but RTSP is not a registered protocol. I'm aware of that. So yeah, we can't actually watch videos, but hey, we can at least take a look at the thumbnails. That's something, right? Okay, so we know web browsing is working just fine. So that's nice. So let's take a look at some regular applications here. I'll pull that open, applications. And let's go through the Microsoft Office suite. Microsoft Office 98. I do have a newer version of uh, Office that will work on OS 9. I think I have Office 10. That should still work just fine. Let's see, that's, that's super fast. This is Excel and it's really super amazingly quick. So that's very nice. Don't save. Of course, we got PowerPoint as well, so we can make some nice little slides. Okay, start using PowerPoint. Apply design. Let's go presentation designs. Oh yeah, fireball. That's looking sharp. Alright, let's get out of there as well. So it's working very nicely. Of course, we've got iTunes, so we can play some music here. Granted that I, it could actually find my uh, library, which it can't, because it's too old. So there's a radio tuner here. Pretty sure that service has been offline for years as well, and it is. That's okay though, that's absolutely fine. So now let's take a look at the game. I've got a tournament here. This is the original version. That requires me to actually mount the CD. There we go, mounted, and now we can play it. Turn down the volume a little bit. So we can take a quick look at uh, how it performs. It's running into Rave renderer mode, which is specific to ATI cards and uh, should work very well. It's a bit slow to load on Mac, I've noticed. It's also not that quick on Mac OS X, so 
it's not really that much of a surprise that it's slow on Mac OS 9 as well. But yeah, as soon as you've launched it for the first time, it'll work just fine. The game is currently set to 1024 by 768, which is as high as as high as it will let us go. So there's that. Let's go play on CTF face. That's fine. Uh, 16 bots a bit much. Let's stick with nine and take a look at uh, how that goes. Loading. I'm going to type a command stat FPS so we can see our current frame rate. It is now hovering around 70 FPS. That's a nice lag there. Yep, we've got about 70 FPS right now. Dipping down to the upper 40s. We're now around 40 FPS. Let's go make this thing go boom. <laughs> There we go, killed at least three of them. So let's have some fun here. There we go. But yeah, with full details, the frame rate is, is around the uh, lower 40s to around 70 FPS. So it averaged out around 50 to 60 FPS on average, so that's pretty good. At least it's playable, so. So that's basically the short overview of how it actually performs running Mac OS 9 on a Mac Mini 2004. Of course, this is still an experimental version. It's not. Uh, it hasn't got all the kinks worked out yet. But at least we've got it booting, and we can do basically all the tasks that we normally can in Mac OS 9, with some only very small caveats indeed. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.